Hello everyone, this is Andres Restart, and this time we are talking about whether the Nintendo Switch 2 can be revealed at the Game Awards of 2024. I've seen a lot of people bring up this possibility, and it's something I've been wanting to talk about, so that's what we'll be doing today. But I will point out, I'm actually away for the weekend, so my time is a little bit limited here, so the editing for this video is going to be more simple than usual, so just sit back, relax, and let me know what you think at the end of the video. But I will take this moment to ask that if you do find yourself enjoying my content, to please subscribe and hit that notification bell. So lately we've been talking about the potential of some sort of Nintendo announcement at the Game Awards this year. And I think that should pretty much be expected because almost every single year, there is some kind of Nintendo announcement. Now these announcements range in significance. Sometimes it's just N64 games coming to Nintendo Switch Online, and other times it's something as big as a new character in Smash Brothers, or new footage for the next big Zelda game. So there is a wide range of significant things that could show up at the Game Awards that we've seen from Nintendo over the years. And I would say that over the last few years, the significance of these announcements have waned a little bit, but I would argue that this would have more so to do with the fact that we're near the end of the generation for the Switch 1, and the type of big announcements that Nintendo would like to show off at the Game Awards, well, given that we're at the end of the generation, there isn't as much to show off. But now that we're talking about the Nintendo Switch 2, entering a new generation where Nintendo may want to kick up the marketing, perhaps Nintendo may start to pick up the significance of the type of announcements we'll see at the Game Awards over the next few years, to transition over to the next generation. I think there could be something to this idea. But does that mean that they will go so far as to showing off the Nintendo Switch 2 for the very first time at this award show this December? I'm not so sure. We do know that Nintendo is going to make some sort of announcement regarding the Switch 2 before the end of the fiscal year, which ends on March 31st, 2025. And we believe this announcement is going to be pretty much basically a reveal for the console because Nintendo has made announcements on Twitter and these announcements on Twitter have not counted as the announcement. Like recently, they announced backwards compatibility and they were still talking about how they have a special announcement regarding the Switch to the successor to the Nintendo Switch before the end of the fiscal year. So at the very least, the Game Awards event does fall within the window of time that we are expecting a reveal to happen within the next few months here. But, a lot of people also don't really expect an announcement to happen in this calendar year anymore because we've already gone the shareholders meeting, they've already made all these significant announcements of the year, and we're already heading towards the holidays, and so it doesn't really seem like Nintendo would be making any more big announcements during this period of time. They've already shown all their plans for this year, and they're just focusing on holiday sales until we get into next year. And at this point, I would say that seems pretty likely. We don't really get this late into the year and see so many significant announcements. Now, we do see announcements at the Game Awards, but outside of that, Nintendo doesn't really announce that much during this time of the year, something like a console reveal we would have expected to have happened by this point. However, from the recent Nintendo shareholders meeting that happened earlier this month, President of Nintendo Shuntaro Furukawa was asked about how holiday sales couldn't be impacted by the Switch 2, and he said, I can't say for sure that there won't be any, but the Switch has already been on the market for 8 years. I don't think that the presence or absence of a successor will have much of an impact on customers who buy it this time. And so my takeaway from this is that, in theory, they could reveal the console sometime in December, maybe even at the Game Awards, and it wouldn't necessarily have that much of an impact on Nintendo's sales. I think the audience that you're appealing to during these holidays with the Switch isn't the same audience that would be the early adopters for Switch 2. Switch has been around for over seven and a half years, and Switch 2, well, that's gonna be a more expensive, more powerful console. Most people who will be buying that console in its first year will be the more diehard Nintendo fan. So while I would say at this point it's more likely that we'll see a reveal next year, in either January, February, or March, I think December is still technically on the table. They could do something. And I'll even go as far as saying that it might make a lot of sense to have a reveal right before the Game Awards, because if you do that, then 
all of a sudden, there's a whole bunch of third-party games that are going to have some type of announcement at the Game Awards, and they'll also be able to say that this is coming to Nintendo Switch 2, and so it would turn the Game Awards almost into a giant partner showcase of sorts, and that would be a lot of great marketing for Nintendo's next generation. And on that note, the Game Awards is this huge event. It's a very mainstream event. There are so many different types of games that will be shown at the awards show. It reaches a very large audience. And so that's why it might make sense to show off the Switch 2 then, because they can certainly reach that audience. But I also think it's worth noting that regardless of how Nintendo reveals this console, it's going to reach the audience. Everyone knows about the Switch, and everyone will know about the Switch 2 rather quickly once Nintendo decides to announce it and whatever form they choose to do so. So I don't really think there's necessarily a need to do it at the awards show specifically, and Nintendo has this history of controlling their messaging. So providing a quick, short reveal or tease at the awards show as opposed to something that perhaps has a little bit more length and depth separate from the event, I think there's a better chance we see a reveal trailer separately before the event than actually at the event. However, there is some precedent of an announcement like this happening at the awards show. The Xbox Series was announced at the Game Awards. So it isn't like a big gaming company hasn't announced a home console at the show, and so Nintendo could do it there. It is possible, and it might explain why they haven't made any sort of announcement yet. There are still many reports out there, and even some rumors, that the Switch 2 could still be coming out next March, which is very close to now, and it might be the case that Nintendo could be going into mass production soon. We've seen the evidence that they've been collecting a whole bunch of parts and putting them in warehouses, so they're really close. Perhaps a teaser of some kind in December would be enough time for Nintendo to really kick into the Switch 2 marketing. But ultimately, I don't think it's likely that Nintendo will reveal the Switch 2 at the Game Awards. Is it possible? Sure. I'm not going to rule it out entirely, but as I've already discussed, I think it's more likely we see a reveal of some kind right before the awards show, then we just see games shown off at the awards show that are coming from different third-party companies. When you look at the type of announcements we've seen at the awards show from Nintendo, it might be a whole new announcement of something, but typically these are partnered games, like in the case of Bayonetta Origins, for example. But when you think about all the other types of announcements we've seen at the Game Awards, they've been updates on games we've already known about, like Smash Brothers and Breath of the Wild, or Fire Emblem. And so I think it makes more sense to think that if we are to get some type of Nintendo announcement at the awards show, most likely, it's going to be an update on something we already know about, maybe Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. And something bigger, as in the announcement of a whole new next generation console would be saved for a separate event. But let's say things happen in the way we're pretty much expecting at this point where there isn't any kind of reveal in December, and we're not going to see that level of announcement until sometime next year. I still think the award show might be interesting for those anticipating Switch 2 news, because we look at some recent game announcements like Ruffy in the Riverside or Yuka Replayly. There are some developers that are already finding ways of teasing the Switch 2. In the case of Ruffy in the Riverside, during a press release they referred to not just a Switch, but Switch is. And at the end of the Yuka Replayly trailer, they did not announce the game for Nintendo Switch, but they did announce the game for a Nintendo platform that's coming out in the future, and they had a whole eye emoji thing dancing around the Nintendo logo. We might see a few more things like that at the event because there may be third-party games that are going to have a version on the Switch 2, and given that the Switch 2 is coming out sometime next year, these developers are going to want you to know about it. But outside of that, and hopefully some type of interesting Nintendo announcement, like an update on a game we already know about, I am not expecting something like a Switch 2 reveal at the award show. Is it possible? Sure. Is it likely? No, I don't think so. But what do you all think? Let me know in the comments below. This is Andres Restart. Thank you so much for listening and watching. And I'll see you all really soon. Take care. Bye.